Yeah, it took a little while to get around, but the faithful were thrilled to see him come by. It was amazing. I'm gonna cry. I'm going to tell you what a lot of conservatives are thinking, but are afraid to say. The Pope is a political prostitute who is being deified and idolized by the media and the establishment because he's selling out both Christianity and the principles of liberty. So we're told that this is the most intense security operation ever. And yet a child used as a propaganda tool by illegal immigrant activists somehow accidentally manages to penetrate this ring of steel to deliver a message to the Pope about how America should roll over on amnesty. Give me a break. How frigging naive do they think we are? Why is the Pope cheerleading for a migrant invasion of Europe and America while top imams are openly calling for Muslims to exploit the migrant crisis to breed out Westerners and replace Christianity with Islam. If the Pope was in charge of America and Europe's immigration policy, Christianity would be supplanted by Islam within a few short decades. Remember, only one in five of these migrants are even Syrian, and 72% of them are men. The Catholic Church rakes in $850 million in donations in the US per week. How much of that is being donated to solve the refugee crisis? Vatican City is the richest state on the planet. How much has it donated to solve the refugee crisis? Or do they only help Nazis when it comes to managing money? Based on its size comparison to New York City, Vatican City should take in nine refugees per year. And aside from a recent photo op involving a Syrian family, they take in precisely zero. Every year, zero. And isn't it ironic that the man who represents an institution which presided over the most horrendous child rape scandal in history is now browbeating Americans and Europeans to accept migrants. As we discover a deluge of cases in and around refugee centers in Germany of migrants raping children. The man who hasn't defrocked one single priest over the Catholic sex abuse cover-up is now pushing the very same open border policy that led to a 1400% increase in rapes in Sweden, most of them committed by migrants. But the Pope says we must simply discard whatever brought travelers home. And accept waves of unassimilated migrants, a great portion of whom are completely intolerant of Christian beliefs and Western values. And where does the Pope stand on free speech? The very bedrock of Western liberal democracy. He stands alongside Islamic extremists. Just like the Charlie Hebdo jihadists, the Pope thinks that the right to cause offence isn't a part of free speech. Just like terrorists who would kill people over cartoons, the Pope thinks that violence is a justified response to insulting someone's religion. And while the Pope lectures us all on climate change, this one trip alone is responsible for thousands of tons of carbon dioxide being pumped into the atmosphere. While pushing global warming bullshit in the name of helping the third world, the Pope is legitimizing policies that will kill the third world. As the leaked Copenhagen text illustrated, punitive regulations in the name of the environment are designed to cripple the third world and stop it developing its way out of poverty. Capitalism is the greatest vanquisher of poverty that the world has ever seen. Millions of Chinese Indians and countless others have lifted themselves out of poverty thanks to capitalism. Since Chile embraced capitalism, just 2% live in poverty compared to 15% under the previous communist system. Yet Pope Francis, the supposed champion of the poor, badmouths capitalism every single chance he gets. While doing nothing to support dissidents crushed under the heel of communism in places like Cuba. While claiming he doesn't support socialism, yet rhetorically calling for socialism, the very economic system that ensures misery and poverty for everyone. But let's make it clear, there is dissent within the Vatican. A conservative revolt is brewing. People who attend these Catholic events at which this New Age Gaia crap is being rammed down their throats are getting incensed 
They're standing up and demanding to know what happened to their church. Demanding to know why the Pope is becoming increasingly weaker on abortion. Just one sentence, one milquetoast sentence about abortion during his entire speech in front of Congress. In fact, the Pope spent about five times longer talking about 35 executed murderers than he did the one million unborn children killed in the United States every year. He also remained completely silent on the right of Christians not to have their businesses ruined over legislatively imposed tolerance. I really liked the Pope when he was first elected, but wearing a pointy hat and claiming that you represent God doesn't automatically make you the supreme authority on absolutely everything as the media would have us believe. And I know that he's performed numerous acts of kindness, but he's now nothing more than a political tool being used by the elite to undermine both Christianity and the foundation of Western freedom. So sorry I can't jump on your bandwagon of compelled idol worship. Sorry I can't suspend all my core beliefs and principles to bow down and genuflect in fawning admiration of someone who is deceiving over a billion people. And sorry, no offence, but fuck the Pope. Seriously, fuck the Pope. It was amazing, I wanna cry. <laughs>